afternoon, Coach. Good to see you. How's it going? Thanks for having us another year. Yes, and welcome to HSBN Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and who you have here today with I'm Coach George Molina. I'm the head coach at Day Christian. To my left, I have Ariel Sabatier. He's our senior first baseman. Right behind him, we have Juan Rivera Jr. He's one of our catchers. In the middle, we have Gabriel Bellini. He's one of our shortstops as a junior. Up here, we have our ace, which is uh, Anthony Rondon. He's a senior pitcher. Right to the right of me, I have uh, Kelvin Perez. He's another shortstop that we have. He's also a junior. And to the far right, we have our hidden gem, which is Leo Rodriguez. He's one of our uh, upcoming pitchers as a sophomore. Very nice talent. Excellent. So you're talking about some talented team here. So talk about your roster. You have returning eight players and nine seniors overall. How valuable is having a lot of experience on your team? It helps out a lot because they know where to be. Everything, pretty much all our plays are well known already with them. And everything is pretty much set in stone with who's going to start where and who's going to do this. And pretty much it's pretty much what we've always wanted at Day Christian. It's been a while, but we got there. I think we have a pretty strong team this year. And you said it's been a while. I mean, in, in 22, you got back into district play. And last season, you won a district playoff game. Is this the year you guys are ready to turn that corner and compete for a district title? We're looking to win districts this year. I'm going to tell you that right now. And why do you think that is? Because we've built the right way, and God's blessed us in many ways with a lot of good things this year at Dade. So uh, I think this is our year, to be honest with you. And from a player's perspective, talk to me about the chemistry of the team. Are you guys excited for this year? Are you guys close like a family? Are you guys working harder in the gym and on the field? What do you, who would like to tell me? Yeah, I think we're really close because we're basically all Hispanic. And like what gets us hyped up is the pregame music. So, Musica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe? The yeah, vibe yeah. there? Excellent. Well, but we do put the work in there. They do put the work in there. But it gives you the rhythm to do it. Yeah. <laughs> And what about the motivation? I mean, you guys have to motivate yourself. You have to motivate each other. I mean, who? I would, I would let Ariel answer that one because he's been with us for three years. So he's got to have some type of motivation in him. Okay. Uh, you know, basically a lot of teams that we've lost against, mm -hmm. we just come back, try to win. So. Yeah. And then what about for you guys? I mean, what's your personal motivation to, to get out there and do your best? I mean, um, like there's some ones that are sleeping. And while they're sleeping, there's other ones working. So it's it's like you gotta work every day harder, harder, harder to be the best one out there. And try to be the best one out there. Exactly. And right. coach, talk about your schedule because you're not afraid to play anybody. <laughs> you do that tough schedule out there. Um, you mostly have your home field advantage, but talk to us about that schedule when you put that together. Well, I was, I was, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address it after I let one of my team captains address it because he would know me better than anybody else. He's standing right behind me. So address why we schedule so hard, Gabby. Because um, we have the bats to compete against the pitching, and I feel like this year we could really like make an impact against those teams and make a name for ourselves. I don't have to say a word. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. <laughs> and for you guys over here, are there certain teams that you're looking forward to playing this year? Oh, everyone. Everyone. <laughs> We're going for everyone. Yeah, but there's everyone. one team that stings us. There's one team that stings us, and every year we have an issue with them. And this year we got to go after them. And who would that be? The They're in our district. There you go. That's what we want. Yeah. <laughs> we love Ernie, but we want to beat him. <laughs> uh, um, and there seems also to be a lot of depth balance on your roster. Is there any particular area that the team is the strongest that you will lean on to lead the way this season? I would say our strongest point right now is our, ba our bets. We have probably one of the best lineups, I would say, that we've had ever at Day Christian. Even in all the years that Day Christian was good, I'll put it to you like that, in my opinion. From one to nine, everybody hits. That's our strongest suit right now, hitting. That's great. And today, why did you think it was important to come out here and bring your team to the media days? Because yeah, it's, it's good. Anthony always puts on a good show, and he always, uh, it pretty much brings the kids together, it brings the teams together. We get to see other teams out here, other coaches, other friends, all their friends that they know. It's like a family environment. It's fun for them. Everybody enjoys it. And did you guys go out on the field and, and participate? Where were some of the activities you guys took part in? We did the 60-yard dash, which they all competed in. We also did the, the exit below. We did not do I.O. because we're keeping that. We're not showing anybody what we got. OK. <laughs> they can see us on the field. <laughs> and what was your favorite out there? Did you run the 60 or yeah. did you do? I, I liked running the 60. It was the best part about it. Got to see some speed out there? Yeah. 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 And coach, so tell me about, so this year, what is it going to take to make you guys 
you have a tough schedule, you got a lot of talent on the team, what is it going to take for you to get a successful Hard work and team camaraderie. We need to all get along. We all need to push to together forward, and we, we have to play as a team. It takes nine to win. It's a baseball team. It's not. There's no I in team, so it's a brotherhood, and it's a brotherhood for life for them. So it's something that they should learn since now, because these guys that are next to them, they're gonna know them for the rest of their lives. What do you players have to say about that when Coach said that? Um, I, I think I think like I'm confident. I know all of them is confident because there's a great chemistry in the team. And we all treat each other the same. So I think it's going to be a good season. We're like, we're like brothers. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing. We all get along. We all get along. We're, we're like brothers. Along. We know what we like. We know what we dislike. It's We're family. And for you, Coach, to hear that from your, from your players, how does that make It makes me happy. It makes me seem like we're doing a good job. I did. It seems like the, the actual culture we're trying to build is actually flourishing finally. To sum it up for us, Coach, what can we expect this year from you? A lot of hits. <laughs> say a lot of hits. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming out and participating. Best of luck this year. Thank you for having us. We'll see you on the field. Thanks, thank guys. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.